Today there are 100,000 points of light shimmering in the world because somebody had the courage to do what was right. So Hanukkah celebrates the extraordinary miracle of the Maccabees overcoming Greek oppression and then culminating in the dedication of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. They came to the temple, they found a cruise of oil that was only enough to last for one day. And they kindled it and a miracle happened that lasted for eight days. And that is why till this day, we all celebrate Hanukkah for eight crazy days. But if you think about it, it's strange. According to all accounts, there was enough oil for the first day. So that means there were seven days of a miracle, not eight. Why do we celebrate eight days of Hanukkah? And the answer is this. Often we think that a miracle is something that God drops on us from heaven, an extraordinary thing that comes from heaven. But sometimes, do you know what a miracle is? It's when the human being has the Maccabean courage to take the first step, to kindle the first flame. When we do that, then miracles come to the work that we have done. That's what we celebrate on Hanukkah. The seven days celebrate God's miracle. And the first day celebrates the miracle that the Maccabees had that courageous faith to take the first step, to fight, to kindle the menorah. Contemporary example, during World War II, thousands of Jews were trapped in Lithuania, nowhere to go. They would be decimated in the Holocaust. The Japanese ambassador named Mr. Sugihara figured that if he gives them visas from Japan, that would be a way to escape. The Japanese sent him a message, absolutely no visas, absolutely no exceptions, not one. Sugihara knew that if he does so, he would be punished, he would be fired, but he said, I'm gonna follow my conscience and God. And for 30 days, Sugihara spent around the clock, barely sleeping, writing visas straight with his own hand. He ended up writing in 30 days, 6,000 visas. Every one of the Jews who received one of Sugihara's visas ended up surviving. Now, in the year 2020, they are estimated to be 100,000 survivors living in the world today, recipients from Sugi Haras. Jesus. We are called on to have courage to light that one flame, to do that courageous act. And it's impossible to know the consequences of what will happen. Today there are 100,000 points of light shimmering in the world because somebody had the courage to do what was right. The Maccabees could not know what the result of their kindling of the menorah would be. Neither could Sugihara, and neither could we. But one thing we do know, the Hanukkah lights lasted eight nights because the Maccabees had the courage to light the first. Today there are 100,000 Jewish people alive because Sugihara had the courage to issue one visa at a time. So we all, perhaps not on the battlefield, are called on every day to kindle that light. And when we do so, Miracles happen. Happy Hanukkah.
יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. Happy Hanukkah.